Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? In this video, I'm going to touch on how to model a laundry clip from a picture taken on the clip. Most laundry clip in the market is inexpensive but also does not last very long. It started to break after a few months of usage as you can see here. Either because the clip's material is of low quality or because the clip body is too thin which breaks easily under the operational stress. Of course, you can get new one easily and also cheaply but you also create a lot of environmental waste. So, let's model the clip and make the body thicker and print with PLA filament which is more environmental friendly. Alright, let's get started with the 3D modeling of the clip. Start your FreeCAD. If you do not have a copy of FreeCAD, go to freecadweb.org. They are installer for Windows, Mac and Linux. In FreeCAD, select Part Design Workbench. Create a new document to File News or click on Create New Document icon here. Next. Create a new body. Now we will switch to Image Workbench. In the Image Workbench, create a panel image in the 3D space. Select the image file. Okay, this is the image that we are going to sketch on. And since this image is captured on the camera, we would want to scale it to the actual size. To do that, click on Scale the image to here. Select the first point which is from here to here. This is 15mm. Make sure we select the image plan and click OK. Okay, now this image is scaled to actual object size. To check the size, we can click on the measuring tools and check on it. As you can see, it's about 15mm. Right? We can check on another location, non size location from here to here which is about 8mm. That's correct. Alright, we don't need these two measurements and we can delete them. Now, we can switch back to part design. Next, we're going to create a new sketch. Select XY plan. We would like to rotate this image. Select the image data and on the position. On the angle, we will rotate this image such that it will align on the Y axis. We will move it up to align with the axis itself. If we are good with that, the first thing we need to do, do is select the line tool and draw a straight line from here to this point here. Follow by a straight line up to here from this point to here then from here to this point okay and then from here up to here here to here and here to here change to the arc tools start from this point to this point from this point to here from here to here to here we're going to make this bigger so that it's stronger compared to the original design close it with the line here connect the two point we need one more semicircle here to this point Okay, the radius is 4 mm. The angle for this semicircle is 180 degree. Select the origin and from this point, the horizontal distance is make it 7. From this point back to here, 17.2. Okay, we are good with that. We will close it and next thing is to pad it up to 28 mm. So this is how it look like. Okay, we will create another sketch on the XY plan and let's change this to wired frame view. So that we can see the outline here and we, what we're going to do is to create a vertical line here followed by another line here and close it okay we'll create one more here and over here and let's use the art tools from here to here and close the loop here to here let make sure that the distance between this point and here is at, at least 3mm and from here to here the thickness is at, at least 3mm as well close it okay with this sketch we're going to adjust the uh, attachment here the position from the Z exit we're going to do it up to 3mm if you rotate you should be able to see that now the, the sketch is actually above the surface by 3mm and going to create pocket with this and the pocket is in the reverse orientation by 22mm to see how it look like let's change it to at ease and if you rotate this is how it look like we we'll cut it according to what we want okay now we're going to cut the other area here but before that let's cut this surface let's create a sketch use a line tool and draw 
four horizontal line the length of the line we we'll set it to 30 and we make all the line the same the distance between the two line here is 3 mm and the distance between these two is 7 mm for the distance between here to here is 3 mm let's draw a reference line over here and the distance between this point to this point we will set it to 28 mm and let's make all of them align together okay let's draw a semicircle over here connecting this point to this point and from here to here from this point to this point and here to here the radius is 1.5 mm and likewise go to the rest of the uh, semicircle here they are all the same now we need to constrain this thing to here by selecting the origin and this point the vertical distance is 7.5 mm the line distance between this and here let's fix it by fixing this point to the origin 80 we are good with that and we just need to cut it and now we have every cut this is another point we need to cut here select it and create a new sketch and here is a rectangle draw a rectangle here the vertical length 18 mm the horizontal length is 6 mm and we're going to move it near to here set this point to hit the origin the vertical distance is 5 mm the horizontal distance is 10.35 mm we are good close it and we're going to create a pocket of 11 mm so that's how this thing look like so far so good what we're going to create now is another sketch okay on the xy plane again let's change this to wire frame again and create a circle here okay the radius is 4 mm and from this point to here the distance is 7 mm from here to here the vertical distance is 17.2 we need to make sure that this one cut through completely so let's connect from here all the way to this point and this point to here, here from the semicircle here down to here so we're going to use the trim tool here to cut away this part and cut away this part okay so this is what we want to have close it and with this sketch here go to the uh, position here and going to move up by 2 mm all right let's create a pocket we'll reverse it by 2 mm let's see how this thing look okay so this is how it cuts all right let's switch back to wireframe and create another sketch on the xy plan again and we're going to draw another circle here the radius again is 4 and this point to here is 17.2 here to the origin is 7 mm again use the line 2 again from the center here cut to here to here and from here up to here and we're going to trim it also like here cut away and get to trim this part and this part all right so this is how it look like close it and now we're going to have the sketch and adjust the attachment location again for the egg axis we'll move it up by 4 mm 6 mm so we have 6 mm we're going to cut away 18 mm so look at it this is how it look like now again we're going to create one more sketch here which on this the surface here and here so this radius of 4 set 7 17.2 right to here and from here to here okay next is to trim it again and I'm going to trim this part and this part is one line here all right let's adjust it and close it we're going to have a pocket here of 2 mm so this is how we want it to be all right the next thing we're going to put some fillet on the surface here to do that select the edge here Let's create a 1mm fillet, okay? Good with that. And 
also this side a one mm fillet. All right, let's create a fillet here. All right, this edge followed by this edge and the other edge and the edge of the end. Select the fillet. Add a two mm fillet and on the bottom of the edge itself, we also add a two mm fillet and go to the front edge at the bottom. Here we add a 1.5 mm uh, filler. And okay, make sure we save this as cloth clip. Alright, now we will need to switch to parts workbench. In the part workbench, we will add cylinder to it. The radius of the cylinder is 1.5. The height is 6. The angle will be 270 degrees. With the cylinder selected, let's change the basement minus 9 and here set to minus 9 and likewise for Z will set to 9mm and what we need to do is select this and transform it we're good let's create another cylinder the second cylinder 1.5 6mm the angle we have here will be 90 degree the x is minus 9 y is minus 9 and z is 21 all right change to wire frame so that we can see see this and we do a transform So this one look okay. Chain position Z to 20. With that, select this and the cylinder we will do a cut. And then with this cut and the second cylinder we do another cut. And next we are going to select the top circle here and make a shepherd of 1mm here. Okay, let's save it and now select the object and export to STL. We will call it cloth clip. With the 3D model done and exported to STL format, we are now ready to import the STL to the 3D printer slicer software. In the slicer, click on add at the cloth clip.stl. Okay, this is how it looks like. What we need to do is to add some supports to the structure here to support the overhanging. Right click on the item here, add support enforcer, select cylinder, drag it over here, change the size to 8mm by 8mm. We will set the Z here to 0 to make sure that it's aligned to the bed itself. Alright, move it in. Let's add one more supporter here and add the cylinder again. And likewise, change the size to 8 plus 8 and change this to 26mm and the Z to 0 again this part in we copy this and we paste it move it out to here paste again move it to here paste again and move it to here all right we will slide it to see how it looks these are the green color are the support structure that is being created and the next thing we go going to do is to select the entire item here and add one more because you now each clip requires two pieces and rearrange them all right this is how it looks like all right for this model we're going to print with PLA and the infill is 50% and make sure that the bring is uh, selected here also on the support here we will use for support enforcer only everything is good click on slice now and this is how it look like in the slice model and we can also again drag the orange bar here up and down to see how each layer are being sliced okay everything look good uh, you can scroll down here and you can see they take about 17 meter for it to print and you take about six hours with that we can click on export g code you can use the default name given or you can put in your own file name and when the export is completed you will pop out a message here showing that it's complete one, you have the export G code file, you can copy it to the printer for your print. With the 3D model printed, let's put the parts together and see the clip in action. This is the broken clip and we are going to reuse the two metal spring for the printer parts. 
right these are the uh, big two printer part they look good you can see that it's much more thicker more durable and this is how it works when they put them together take the spring and insert them into the hole as you can see here right one by one take the another one and put on to the other side of the hole here okay and uh, you put them into the uh, hole there first as a basement and on both sides of it the first put them onto the two hole on the creep and on the other side basically the spring is a bit cut so you need the plier to pull it up to the retaining hole okay just adjust them in to the hole there all right that's what you need to do and it's done and you can see that it's working as what we want it to be right? and you can see that it's very durable and strong compared to what we have uh, on the original creep itself let's recap what we have covered the laundry creep is of low quality and break easily so i model the creep from the photo of the creep by making the creep body thicker to make it more lasting and print with PLA so that it is less impact to the environment we use free cap part and part design workbench to model part with arc circle line pack pockets cylinder fillet chamfer and cut tools to create the creep once the 3d model is completed we export it to sdl format that can be used on the 3d printer slicer software to slice it for 3d printing finally with the printer part we put them together and you can see that it is working as expected and look more doable if you like this series of video and would like to support it you can simply like the video share it with your friends family members and colleagues who can benefit from learning how to design 3d models using a CAD software and print them for daily usage of course remember to subscribe for future videos last and not least if you have comment on how to make the video better for your learning and have question on any part of the video please drop them into the comment section below i'll do my best to answer them thank you for your attention bye